I'm Sean White, a representative of Aquatech, here to tell you about the Aquatech CO2 emitter system. As any aquarium enthusiast or hydroponic enthusiast will tell you, CO2 is integral to growing green plants due to the photosynthesis reaction. That's why these individuals love our CO2 regulator system. When you order it, the following items will come in the box. The CO2 regulator with integrated electronic solenoid valve, as well as a bubble counter with an integrated check valve. Our regulator is different from those found in fountain drink dispensers due to the integrated electronic solenoid valve. When the regulator is plugged in, the valve is closed and no CO2 will be emitted through the regulator. When plugged in, the valve will open and CO2 can be allowed through the regulator. This is important because this can be attached to a timer allowing you to synchronize your lighting system as well as your CO2 delivery to optimize photosynthesis. Let me tell you a little bit about the Aquatech CO2 regulator. The left valve of the regulator indicates the pressure remaining in the CO2 tank. The right valve on the regulator indicates the output pressure. Flow rates can be adjusted using the precision needle valve. The Aquatech CO2 regulator is pressurized, meaning that it offers unparalleled consistency in flow rates through time. Next we'll need the American Standard CO2 tank. This tank comes with CGA 320 threads, so your Aquatech regulator will fit properly. You can get an American Standard CO2 tank from a beer or soda distributor or welding supply store. They can be loaned or bought, and when they run out, just return the tank and get a new one, which will cost around $15 depending on the tank size. Getting a CO2 tank with CGA 320 threads is important because an ill fit between your regulator and your tank can lead to leaks. Several overseas vendors offer regulators with threads which won't mate properly with this tank due to the differences between metric units used overseas and American units used here in America. If you prefer to use a paintball CO2 tank, Aquatech offers a custom adapter to go from the paintball CO2 tank threads to CGA 320 threads. Once you have your CO2 tank, you're ready to attach your Aquatech CO2 regulator. First, take the included white washer and place it into the threads in the regulator. Next, finger tighten the regulator onto the threads until tight. Next, use a wrench to give it a few turns and you're good to go. If you notice any leaks in the regulator, we recommend that you use Teflon tape, which you can acquire at any local hardware store. After you've attached your Aquatech CO2 regulator, the next step is to plug in the solenoid. Right now it's not plugged in and the solenoid valve is closed, not allowing the flow of CO2. When we plug in the solenoid, you should hear a click, meaning the valve is open and will allow the flow of CO2. Next. Make sure that your tank is closed and the precision needle valve is also closed. Unthread the brass nut, thread it through your air hose, and attach the hose to the barbs. Then finger tighten the brass nut. Next, slowly open your CO2 canister and adjust the flow of CO2 using the precision needle valve. Next I want to introduce the Aquatech 3-in-1 diffuser. It's sold separately. Its compact, innovative design is perfect for planted aquariums. It includes a ceramic plate diffuser which creates exquisite micro bubbles. It also has a bubble counter and integrated check valve to prevent back siphoning into your CO2 tank resulting in damage. To operate the 3-in-1 diffuser, first fill the cavity with water and attach the air hose and you're good to go. 
Bubble production within the cavity can be adjusted using the precision needle valve on the regulator. Finally, over time, algae may grow on the ceramic disc diffuser. As a result, Aquatec sells replacement ceramic disc diffusers online.